Hey there and welcome back to the Code Wrinkles channel. In this video I would like to talk a little bit about what do we return from our .NET Minimal APIs. And to start with we have here a very simple project in which we have defined some routes. We have also added open API support. And here the routes or the, the route handlers we have actually defined in a static class in static methods. And for instance we have here two different methods. The first one it returns an I result and it's result OK. And the second one, well, here we want to find one certain object. So if we don't find it in the list, then we return a results not found. And if we find it, then we return a results OK. This was the way that we used to return results in the previous version of the .NET Minimal API. However, with the new version of the .NET Minimal API in .NET 7, we have some new ways to return results. And obviously, these new ways are even better than the old ways. And let me show you why. So to do this, let's first run this application and let's go to the Swagger endpoint. So what we can see here is that we have these two different methods, but nothing else. And if we click on it, we just see that it returns 200 OK and that's mostly it. So no other information about what type we exactly return. To go one step further, I also have prepared here some very, very basic unit tests of those two methods that return the I result. And I would like to place a breakpoint here on the first one and debug the unit tests. Okay, and I would like us to take a look at the type of this var result. And we can see this actually here, and it is an okay of list of to do. In the previous version of .NET, like .NET 6, the return type here was a little bit different than that. And the reason why things are a little bit different is that right now we have another type, more strongly typed, let's say return type in the minimal API, which is the type result. And we can see here it in action because even if we return an I result there, it is then translated to an OK of list of to do. This means that if we go back here to our two methods that actually return something in a minimal API, we can do much more better than that because instead of just returning some generic results of OK, we can start returning typed results. So for instance, it would be here typed results. And I change this also here and also here. Now if we run the application again and go to the Swagger endpoint or to the Swagger page, we can see that actually what we have here is still the same as we had previously. And the reason why this is the case is that even if we do return a type result, actually in the method signature, we still say that we return a regular I result. So what we can do here instead is when we say here what the return type of the method is, we should specify directly the type result. So it would be an OK of list of to do. And here for the second one, things get a little bit trickier. And that's why I wanted to, to include this in the video, because here, based on some conditions, we might return different answers. And the very cool thing is that in .NET 7, we actually have here a union type for the results in which we can say that, hey, we have some results, but these results could be either an OK of to do, because this is what we return if everything is OK, or it could be a not found. So if we run the application now and go to the Swagger documentation page, we see that if we have the schemas and we see here that we get this to do. So if we expand this, we even get this here to 200 OK and we might get a list of this type back. And if we go here, we will see that we could possibly have two different results like the 200 or the 404. Now, the only problem that we have left is that if we run our unit tests now, we'll see that two of them will fail. And if we place a breakpoint here and debug the unit tests, we'll see that the type of this result is actually results OK of to do or not found. But in this result, we have this result object that is specifically not found, which is exactly what the method did return. So to solve this problem, we just want to do the check on this result type. And now if we run the unit tests, we see that everything is OK and all tests pass. The so bottom line here is that if you're using .NET 7 minimal API, the best way to return things from that API is to not just return a results OK or an I result, but it's better to return a type result and let us be explicit about what exactly do we want to return. That will help us to easily integrate with open API specifications and it would also make our life easier when it comes to unit tests. 